What's up, dude? Uh, don't don't take that tone with me, buddy. I am furious with you. I know. What I are know. you What are you doing? You know I care. You know. I know you do. I you gotta, care more than most. I gotta watch this thing, and my heart is ripped from my chest. I worry. <laughs> I'm staying up nights. I can't sleep. I can't eat. It's good for my diet. <sighs> Imagine how I feel. Come on. Well, you 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 know you were there. You're fine. Yes. Uh, and we all know you're fine now. But you know, watching this, I just get this call from CBS, and they're like, "Hey, you want to talk to Ethan?" And all I know is, <laughs> you know, there's some kind of some tragedy happens. So don't get me wrong. I don't want it to happen to anybody. But on my list of people I want it to happen to, like you are the last. You were the last person. I know. I know. Can you believe they're like trying to kill the cancer guy? Right. That's not cool. <laughs> Be like, but here's the thing now, cancer can't do it, survivor can't do it, it's possible you're immortal. What reality show could do it, you think? Right. Jersey Shore, if they put me on that? The Bachelor. I mean, not not now that you're happily married, but The Bachelor would kill you dead. (laughs) Oh, God. All right, I guess we got to talk about this mess. Um, what do you what do you got? What do you want to know? All right, okay, first and foremost, what do you what do you remember from from that? Well, you know, what I remember is that I thought it was going to be really easy. Or, or I didn't think it was going to be easy. I knew it would be tough, but I thought I had, you know, I had what it takes to get through that challenge. But then after about uh, Natalie set a, like, Olympic record pace, <laughs> and when they said, okay, you just got to get 20 logs by sundown, I don't know, we, we don't have watches. I have no no judgment of time really like when this where the sun is and what time is in the morning so like we just went to it at a blistering pace and at first i'm like i was in first place and second place third place fourth place and then it got to a point i think log 10 11 12 i can't remember but like my depth perception just got really weird hmm. and like when i tried to you know and these are these aren't just like rocks. These are rocks covered with salt water and like slimy little seaweed and pockets and ups and downs and crevices. And then you got 30, 40 stairs and then more rocks. So like, it wasn't just like we're walking on a path. We're walking on like, it literally the edge of extinction, like cliffs. Like you fall and tumble, you're falling off that cliff. So I remember my depth perception was off. And like when I tried to step my leg over anything, it just, I was like always three, four inches short. And I kept tumbling, like, you know, slipping and um, stumbling. And then the doctors, like, they actually intervened and said, Do you need to stop or sit down? Like, no, 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 I don't, I'm fine. And then when I stopped, then I got really faint, and they sat me down, and I think that's when I passed out. Yeah, uh, it's a, it, for a fire token, man. Like next time I, I see know, next right? time I see probes, I'm gonna shove a fire token down his throat. Right. And what's going through my mind is like, if this is what we have to do for one fire token this early in the game, I can only imagine what's about to come. Now, um, so so the doctor comes uh, and then gives you the thumbs up to go again. Was, was there any talk of, of pulling you from the game, or, or, or did it not get to that? Yeah, I mean, I, I de- yeah, they definitely. That was the first thing that went through my mind. Like, I hope I can bounce back or recover. I didn't know what was wrong with me. My if my eyes would come back into focus. It's like you know, uh, I was incredibly scared of getting pulled from the game. Like, I didn't work this hard to you know come this far to like you know. They may or may not have shown, but uh, all that, I haven't seen the episode yet, just so you know. Okay. I heard about it, and obviously it was there, but, um, so I don't really know what it said. But, um, uh, yeah, I did obviously didn't want, didn't want to get pulled from the game, yeah. and I remember just feeling, yeah, feeling horrible. But they gave me, so they gave me fluids, they gave me, I think, a salt packet, a sugar packet, and I just remember, like, it's so weird because in the, in the, game of survivor you know uh, there's you want to take any advantage you can possibly get but for some reason like this thing like when a doctor intervenes i just felt incredibly it was incredibly unfair that i was getting water from a bottle and i was getting some salt and some sugar i'm like so you know i don't know if they said it but i'm like you got to give if you're giving me this you got to give everyone Mm -hmm. this and um in a game when you want to be the last person standing and you can lie and cheat and steal, I was like beyond, uh, like overwhelmed with emotion and that these three other women made the choice to come up with me again to help rally behind me to help me finish this challenge. Like 
didn't have to do that. I was th- I was you calling know? the I was calling them Ethan's Angels. Oh, I like that. Isn't that nice? Ethan's so you're, yeah. you're the first person we've got to, got to talk to in the game because nobody's left the game because of the edge of extinction. So I kind of want to get into what's going on at Sully, uh, you know, with the, the votes out, voting, voting out of Natalie, voting out of Danny. Can you walk me to, through the thought processes for those two eliminations? Yes. So with the Danny vote, um, you know, things were a little... You know, like, she wasn't really solid, secured in an old-school alliance. Like, her first instinct was to go after Rob. We all knew that. Then she was kind of going a little bit after Parvati. She was, she was scrambling a little bit. Mm-hmm. And there's some definitely some narratives that happened that you may or might not have seen. But, like, other than that, like, she was, uh, you know, a good player, just a little, a little unpredictable. And we didn't know where she stood within, like, the old-school alliance. And then... Once she started going after Parv and then after, you know, Rob earlier, it was just, it was an easy decision. And it also kind of showed a little bit of loyalty to the other CLA that there isn't an old school. There, there's no old school alliance. You guys think there is, but there isn't. Let's turn on our own and we'll vote off Danny. So I think that was the rationale about behind that. Plus, she was kind of going after Rob and Parvati for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, so then I think with now all of a sudden, um, so I'm aligned with Rob and Parvati. And I kind of had a side thing going with Adam. Barbie's my number one. Rob and Adam were like a little bit on equal grounds of my, my number two. But when Adam came to me and said, we want to vote off Parv, and then I heard from Rob that Adam wanted to vote off Parv, we're like, oh my God, this can't happen. So then we decided to flip it, go after Adam. Um, and I really feel like I'm okay being the guy behind the guy. You know, I don't need to be the front and center like a par of like a Rob. So I was using them a little bit as a, a you know, what they call the meat shield or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I think, uh, I think, I think Jeremy and Michelle respectively wanted to work with Rob and Harvey. I just don't think they showed it that much. So I was just an easy target because I was getting in the way with their relationships with Rob and Harvey. Right. And, and the Natalie vote, was that, was the goal just to split up Natalie and Jeremy? Yeah, Natalie, the Natalie vote was strictly to get rid of, to, to split up this perceived alliance uh, between, yeah, Jeremy and Natalie, because it's a new, it's a new wave of the game, like, there are definitely people that had relationships outside the game that were bringing them into the game, and we didn't know how strong these were, so our inclination was that they, you know, Nat- Natalie is like the god. Uh, Natalie's sister is the god child, the godparent of Jeremy's what kid, right? So mm-hmm. like, that's pretty close. You know, yeah. it's not just like hey, shake hands with buddies. That's like legit. So we needed to split that up early on. Plus, Natalie was strong, and it probably would have helped to keep her around in the challenges. But I think we were willing to sacrifice that. Okay. Uh, we do a word association here to get to know your tribe mates a little bit better. I'll say someone's name. Give me the first uh, word or couple words that pops into your head. There's no no wrong answers here. Uh, and <laughs> okay. let's try uh, Boston Rob. Romance. Uh, Michelle. Uh, confused. Uh, Natalie. Uh, challenge beast. Ben. Frantic. Parvati. Harvardy would be um, calming, my num- calming and number one. Like she's my number one, but calming. Okay, uh, Denise. Denise was um, just fall follow- following. Okay. Following along at the time, but uh, you know, nicest person in the world. Okay, uh, Amber. Oh, we're going to everyone. Everybody you're out there with. Oh, everyone out there, Amber. Um, Amber, un, like a little bit of a, you know, a, a, an unknown. Okay. Uh, Jeremy? Jeremy was, uh, you know, um, quiet, I guess. He was a little quiet. All right. Uh, Adam? Adam, uh, you know, Impatient millennial. <laughs> and uh, we'll finish off with Danny. Danny was... Uh, uh, she was... I don't know. She was nice to be around. Okay. Um, so, The Edge of Extinction is back. It's a very controversial twist. 
Um, ha- having been there and having gone through that extreme challenge with, with the, the, the logs, has it changed your attitude about um, Edge of Extinction from what you thought coming into it? Like, as a game, as a, as, a, as a twist in the game, and as a purist of the game, I'm, I don't like, as a fan, I don't think I like the Edge of Extinction. I feel like if you vote it off, you gotta go home. Like, the whole point of Survivor is to be able to, to not be able to get voted off, but then when you do vote people off, you know, they come back and they like you and they want you to win. So you don't want to get any votes. You don't want to get voted off and you want to vote people off. Um, so I think the Edge of Extinction is weird because you don't really get the opportunity to vote anyone off the Edge of Extinction. Um, and then really, in theory, should have been gone home. So I'm not a huge fan of that as a twist. However, as a player, I think it's great because I'm still in the game. I get to compete for fire tokens. There may be some chances to get back in the game based on what happened in 38. Um and so I think uh, that's the edge of extinction. I think it's an interesting place. It, it, it sends you on a journey, as you can see. You're in between in between life and death out there, life and death in the game, and it kind of feels like you're you know close to death in the real world too <laughs> when you're out there. I mean, you're isolated from friends. A little too close, away. Ethan. A little too close. This last episode. I know, right? My God. I mean, I said that in the thing. I was literally living on the edge of extinction. I mean, I've been to the edge of extinction before, so there should have, there should be a piece of cake. Obviously, we see what happens, so that's not necessarily the case. But um, uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's a great twist for this season. I don't know if I would like it in general. Yeah. Now, but, I mean, if I was like, if this is what we're gonna have to do for one token, I just I was like floored at that time. Like, and no one really even knew what was going on with fire tokens like how do you use them how do you play with them what's the value of them like can we use them here can we use them elsewhere we don't we don't know at that point now wasn't there a menu that, that described that you could purchase an advantage yeah. okay so so you do have like a, a vague understanding yeah so we did have a menu to answer your question yeah, yeah we did have a menu but like you're hoarding them because you just don't know if there's something else coming up if there's going to be a new menu if they're going to take that menu away if you could i don't know so everyone just didn't really know how to utilize these correctly okay well ethan i know um you know thank you so much for your time man i will say this i will find you if you put me through something like that again i'm just saying <laughs> you you I, I, I promise i won't you will wish for 10 edges of extinction my friend thank you uh ethan thank okay. you so much for your time man i appreciate it man thanks so much all right